Hello viewers, welcome to Extreme Telugu YouTube channel. If you like our videos, please like them, share them with your friends and comment and let us know how well our videos are helpful for you. Now in this video, we will be solving few questions. We are not actually understanding the or learning the content here, but we are trying to solve problems of grade 6. And that too from the NCRT math textbook, we are going to solve problems exercise according to the exercises. Now today we will start with our first chapter, knowing our numbers and in that we are going to solve exercise 1.1. Now let me give you a brief explanation what we have in this topic, uh, knowing our numbers. We have in, uh, different um, numerals expressing them in Indian system of numeration as well as international system of numeration. The main difference between these is in Indian system we have periods like ones, thousands, lakhs and crores and further we have Arabs. Now in international system coming to that we have ones, thousands millions billions and trillions and in indian system we have uh, each period have two uh, places uh, place values we say it like um, thousands ten thousands uh, uh, lakh ten lakh crore ten crore like that coming to the international system we have three place values for each period like um, thousand ten thousand hundred thousand million ten million hundred million similar like that that's a major difference between expressing a numeral in an Indian system as well as international system. Okay, and other than this, we also have um, word problems where we have to read, read them, comprehend them. Now, comprehending is nothing but understanding them and uh, coming to a conclusion that which operation we need to use. Until and unless we don't understand the word problem, yes. like we don't comprehend the word problem. We can't uh, say which operation we have to use, like is it an addition, subtraction, multiplication or division, such kind. So this comprehending word problem plays a very important role in word problems mainly. Okay, so then we have to apply our knowledge of these four uh, operations on, uh, to solve that uh, word problem and that too with accuracy. Whatever we do in math, accuracy matters a lot. Finally, you go with a final accurate answer how well you got, how well you have performed the steps or you have written the steps finally to get that accurate answer. So accuracy plays a very important role in mathematics generally. Okay and uh, moving forward to that add on to this grade 6 we have uh, estimation topic in this where we will be estimating few additions, subtractions, multiplications just we, we just touch that estimation we are not learning very in depth of it. So we just touch that estimation and we will solve few questions on that and Roman numerals which we have already learnt in our grade 5 just a kind of uh, brushing up we are going to do in grade 6. Okay, so all these contents we have in this uh, chapter 1 knowing our numbers and this particular exercise 1.1 is based on Indian and international system of numerations where we will be seeing the different uh, numerals expressing them in uh, Indian system as well as international system and vice versa. That means writing numerals from the number names. So uh, let's begin uh, to solve the exercise 1.1 from knowing our numbers. The very first bit if you see in this we have fill in the blanks. Okay. Where it is saying that what is 1 lakh is how many ten thousands? So how many ten thousands are there in one lakh? The question based on based is this on this. So one lakh means we have five zeros, right? Similarly, ten thousands means we have four zeros. So it's a basic simple question we need to ask uh, to ourselves that. What makes a 10,000 to 1 lakh? When does a 10,000 becomes a 1 lakh? It's simple. When you multiply this with 10, one more zero adds on to this and this becomes 1 lakh. Right? So our first answer is 10. Okay? So similarly we have the second question now. 
Question B. We have 1 million. Now this million is something in international system. It's not in Indian system of numeration. We have millions in international system. And I'm telling you now, for us it's 10 lakh. When we say 10 lakh, it is 1 million. I think uh, you hope, I hope you understand that. It's 10 lakh for us. It's actually equal to 1 million. Okay, so if anyone says I have uh, earned 10 lakh rupees, so you can simply say they have 1 million rupees with them. So like that connection we need to check out. So 1 million is how many? 100,000. Okay, now let's try to write what is this 100,000. So you have 100 with you and 1000 with you. So it is nothing but 1 lakh. So 1 lakh as it all 1 million is nothing but 10 lakh. Okay. So 1 million is equals to how many? Uh, 1 lakh for us. 100,000 is nothing but 1 lakh. So how many 1 lakh become, becomes 1 million? So which is nothing but 10 lakh for us. So it is nothing but 10 again. So 10, 1 lakh becomes 10 lakh completely. Okay. So then we go for the C one of this one crore. One crore. When you listen to one crore, can you immediately tell me how many zeros will be there in this one crore? Comment in the description and tell me. Okay? How fast you got to see how many zeros are in there are there in the one crore? So one crore is how many? Ten lakh. So again. I'll write 10 lakh is 6 zeros. Okay, this is our 10 lakh. Now 1 crore, I'm revealing the answer now. 1 crore has 7 zeros. Got. Okay, now how many 10 lakhs will make 1 crore? You have 6 zeros here, you have 7 zeros here. So one more zero you need to add. That is nothing but again, 10, 10 lakh will make you 1 crore. Right? Then we'll go to the next question D. Again, it's one crore is equal to one, how many million? Now it's like the same question you are asking in a different way. Okay. So if you ask add two and three, or if you ask the sum of two and three, both are same, right? Similarly, this one. One crore is how many ten lakh, and one crore is how many million is the same because ten lakh is 1 million in the international system. So it's the same answer, 10. If you guess, if you see all the answers are 10 here. Now next, the last one in the first bit, now 1 million. So here 1 million is nothing but 10 lakh for us, is how many lakh? Oh. Though I have told it in a flow, but the question is the same. 1 million is how many lakh? It's 10 lakh in Indian system of numeration. Okay? So here, this is the first bit where it was like conversions. We are trying to see the connection between Indian and international system between as well as within Indian system. Okay. So let's go for the second bit. The second bit is talking about uh, the number names were given in both Indian and international system. And we have to write number numerals for that. Okay. So the second bit is, it is also asking... Please um, put the commas correctly and write the numeric. So we have to read the number name and we have to put the comma accordingly and um, write the numbers. Okay. If you can see on the board, I kept my book handy. If you can see on the board, so I have taken the periods of the Indian system on, I have written it to make it easy for me. Um, to write the numbers according to the periods, according to the place values. I read the first number name for us. It's 73 lakh. It's 73 lakh. Okay. So we don't have crores for this uh, number numeral. So we started from lakh period. So where we have 73 lakh. Now till here one period is over. So I put a comma. Then the thousands starts. So let us see, let us read the new, uh, number name again. And we have 73 lakh, yes, 75,000. So we have 1,000 uh, period also, it is saying 75,000. So by, by here, 
the thousand column ends, thousand period ends. So give a comma. Then it comes three hundred and seven. They are saying it is three hundred and seven. If you read it properly, there is no tens place in it. Okay. So it is three hundred and seven. So generally, students get confused when they don't have a, a place value. They simply write it as thirty-seven. So there, they go wrong. So the only solution for that is you can put your place values like that, and according to the number name, write one by one the number, the digit. That will help you a lot. Okay. Now the second bit, I'm keeping the same uh, periods here. And I'm writing nine crore. Now in this number name we have a crore place value. So under crore I'm writing nine crore. So by here the crore place value ends. So I'm giving a comma. Five lakh. They're not saying it is fifty lakh. So there is no ten lakh place value here. So when we don't have ten lakh place value, are we going to leave that? No. We are going to put a zero in that place. So it is five lakh. Okay. And then it was forty one, so completely one period is not there in this number name. So in ten thousands place and thousands place we are going to take zeros, and hundreds place also we don't have. We directly have forty one. So it's nine crore five lakh forty one looks like this. Okay, and the next one, it is seven crore. Again we have a crore family here, so we have seven crore. Period got L, so we give a comma and fifty-two uh, lakh. So it's lakh place value fifty-two lakh. It got L, so comma and then comes um, twenty-one thousand. So it is twenty-one thousand. So thousands got L, so comma. Finally, three hundred and two. So it is three hundred and two, right? Oh, here we have a um, international system of numeration number name. So it is saying that fifty-eight million. Now let let me write this. Okay, I have a hundred million. I have ten million. I have million. I have hundred thousand. I have ten thousand. I have thousand. I have hundred tens and ones. That's the place value chart of international system. So I have fifty-eight million. Fifty-eight is ten million, right? So fifty-eight million, comma four hundred twenty-three thousand. Four hundred twenty-three thousand. So if you observe, there are three place values. I discussed it this before at the beginning of the video. And finally, they are saying that two hundred and two. Two hundred and two. That's a lot, and we have last one here, which is in again Indian system of numeration. So it is twenty three lakh thirty thousand ten. So simply twenty three lakh thirty thousand ten. Okay, this is how we write numerals from the number name. If you like our video is helpful for you in these days, just like our video, share our video, and. Uh, comment don't forget to comment on our video and let us know how helpful our video is for you and don't forget to subscribe to extreme telugu youtube channel thank you